living in the community and also being the superintendent of schools in a community like uh, the Bedford Central School District is one that uh, I find quite rewarding and enjoyable. Bedford's got so much beautiful land, so much beautiful open space, but for me it's really about Bedford Village and about the old buildings and the old houses. You are deep in the country here and it's not a lot changed from how it was during the Civil War. Bedford Village, the district, is on the National Register of Historic Places, the entire district. The Bedford Historical Society owns nine historic buildings around the Village Green, uh, 18th and 19th century buildings, and um, they all get used, which is the best part. They're businesses, they're the post office, they're our offices, the courthouse, the schoolhouse, which we still use for educational groups. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a vibrant village that's Preservation has worked and we've kept a lot of the old buildings intact and that's why I think so many people love it. We're fortunate that we have a diverse school district that represents uh, all walks of life and brings many, many different people into our community and definitely into our schools. We have two excellent school districts uh, with a very high uh, ratio of students going on to higher education college. Um, I call it the next best thing to private school. The teachers are nurturing and there's a lot of involvement, parent involvement. The uh, principal reaches out to the families. It's that type of activity that does bring people together to see what we can do to raise healthy kids in this community. It's really something to see.